Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody all around the world, and thank you for joining us today for another Left 4 Dead 2 competitive shoutcast. My name is MK, I'll be your caster and cameraman for today, and I am not running solo. I am here with Gun Noodle. How you doing, my friend? Doing great. It's playoff season here in the KIC. I'm very excited. Two impressive teams, uh, Signalis and each Pochmok, both impressive throughout the group stage, so I think we're going to have a show here we're in for a treat here on pacifice yeah i definitely gonna have to agree with you um i've been following signalis for the last couple of weeks and and uh gnaw has told me that this team is up and coming and i've watched some of their games and they're pretty impressive and i like what they've had to say when talking with them but let's start this match tank we have 53 percent opening attack we try cap with boom charger hundred smoker and the charger and everything gets melted right there as a zombie gets thrown into oblivion <laughs> my goodness what a jump coming out there put that zombie in the olympics and that's a clean hit from signalis no damage what a start uh gun noodle for signalis absolutely like like um like i said they've been very impressive and obviously um each poshmok has you know had their own share of impressive victories uh i think this is gonna be a very close very tight game because both have very uh survivor friendly actually i'm gonna hold that because the hunter's gonna get ski the jockey hunter charger in the back some decent damage from the spit nothing else really landed though that was pretty much all spit yeah it was i think there might have been some m2s or scratches from another infected <laughs> I, I i more scratches i'm not quite sure how brutus got all the points that he got but somehow he managed to get 16 out of that but we'll do a quick roster rundown for signalis or we are going to have flames nod uh nod rat miles and akali hopefully i got that name and why don't you take away each pock mock for us Hey, for each Poshmok, we got Betts, Snipe, Brutus, and, um, is it Yowie or Yoi or? Yoi, it is Yoi. Yoi, 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 okay. And Charger Hunter, Boomer Smoker, no spit coming in, and trying to get them to shoot that Boomer. No one's going to fall for that anymore. Uh, Gun Noodle. <laughs> everybody knows better now. They've learned their lesson. Well, I wouldn't say everybody. <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah. But all right, first tank of the game for each Pockmock into the hands of Yoi, and he's gonna waste no time bringing that hittable into play. The car alarm is no longer alarmed, and they're gonna sack the boomer. And this is gonna let let us know what the tempo of this match is gonna be as far as what this tank can get. Because look where the survivors are, Gun Noodle. It is not an advantageous spot for them. If this car is in a good spot, it could be dangerous for them. Absolutely, but Signalis seems comfortable in their ability to wipe the tank here. I'm sure they've practiced this map many a times. Struggling with that car. It's actually stuck on the other one, so he's going to take a little bit of chip. He's still struggling to get it around here. He's still struggling. Now he finally gets it around. 100 to charge a smoker for the sport, and I think he's about to send it in, MK. And he is. The car is in the back. That could be good. He lands his first punch. He's fully committed now. Everything spawned up. He has not gotten the corner yet. Signal is pushing forward. Charger going to land. Smoker as well. One slam from the charger. Tank looking to cover it with the rock. He's going to get the rock. And I think he's going to get the cap from it, but I don't think he's going to get anything else. He's only got 400 HP left. He is going to land one more punch. The smoker with the body buff, but the tank is dead. So Signalis survives and in relatively good shape, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. That tank was uh, really carried by the support there. He almost made a really bad decision on going for that car. Um, Gun Noodle. I think if he did when his attack went in, it would have been almost no damage. But nonetheless, they, there is an in-cap. The DB's open, so this will give each Pockmok something to focus on. And I think they should focus Ellis. Not only the fact that he is a DB, but he is an Uzi player. It'll make it a little easier for the Hunter to land. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do this. Look at that. <laughs> Can't call it any more like they should have done it. And they've done it exactly like we called. The spitter was a little late, though. Uh... Um, gun noodle, so, but still, that is what, that's about 10%. Look, it's still going down, they're walking through it. Some unlucky spread on that spit, though, I gotta say. They had two in the corner there, and they had the smallest area that wasn't covered, so it could have been a lot more damage, but, you know, like you said, they still got a lot. They're down to 55% bonus, 605 total points. Coming up on this, uh, sad wedding area. And they've got a quad, so here we go. This could be big. They're sending it. Smoker double charge, but the charger gets cleared beautifully. Jockeying the M2 to melt it down. Smoker getting a little bit of damage. And what a that was a great recovery from that double charge, because that looked bad for a minute, but some nice focus fire to melt that charge before it could get anything. 
Yeah, the clears were still nice, but the bonus is still going down about 100 per shot. And that's mainly because they're focusing the DB here, Gun Noodle. I mean, it was at 95, then it took it to 84, down to 77. They're going to get a pull on Nick here. This is just a delay so the Charger can get in the position. And oh, the Charger misses his rocket! And now he's going to have to get desperate while they oh, he's gonna get back in the window. Can he get it this time? Let's see. Oh, he misses again! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't get the rocket. He's going to try for a third time while the boomer tries to delay. Okay, he figures it out, but he misses, and a spit delay will go out. But Nick walks through the spit, so a little bit of damage, and 522s with the walk in with. And Signalis Gun Noodle will put up a thousand points for one map. That's solid score. 1020, can't really scoff at that one. Very solid round. Yeah, that is a very good round, actually, for them. <laughs> Uh, let's see, both teams are expected to have some high-tier play. Let's see if they can return the favor. It's Pockmock. They are going to need to if they want to stay in this because you don't want to get wiped on a 500-distance map with the opening chapter, Gun Noodle, because it is hard amount of comeback. If you remember, Mace Cup Grand Finals is a great example of that. It's just <laughs> tough to dig out of a 1,000-point deficit. And I wonder if we're going to see similar strategies um, on the side of each Pockmock with the uh, tank. I wonder if they're going to hang out where Signalis did or if they're going to try and make a run back. Because it worked out for Signalis, but there were a couple moments where it looked a little scary for them. But, you know, they recovered nicely. Made a smart decision to push forward when they did. And, you know, only took one in cap, but that doesn't mean it's going to work out that way for each Pachmok. No, but I can tell you one thing that we do know already. And I'm going to try to bring this up here while we're talking. As soon as they ready up, I'll get out of this. Okay, they're ready up, so we'll come back to this. <laughs> we're not going to do that now, but... Here they go. Oh, what a shutdown of that Hunter Gun Noodle. The Charger will land. They'll get the clear quickly. But the Hunter does not get anything. But if we're going to call it like we see it, it's Pockmock is going to take much more damage on the opening hit because Signalis took nothing. Yeah, nearly a 5% hitter. It looked a lot better than it actually was. I mean, oh, he had some separation here. I wonder if he realizes that, but... Yeah, it looked a lot better than it was. That beautiful ski didn't even have time to say the hunter was spawned up and it was deleted. And I don't know, we got some separation coming up here and came the nice choke point, Jockey Charger Hunter Spitter, so lots of damage potential. But Snipe already up by the door. Jockey spawned up in the hole there, as is the rest of the SI. They're gonna go in, Jockey gonna land, getting cleared immediately. Charger going in, getting nothing. Hunter gonna land though, and I the spit a little bit late there. Oh, oh! But good body <laughs> block, so Brutus is going to take a lot of damage on Spit that looked like it wasn't going to do anything. And unfortunately for Brutus, that uh, Spitter did a good Popeye impression of <laughs> keeping him in there, not letting him through, He's swimming through well, the green good. stuff, but it ain't no spinach. Let me tell you that, that is acid, and he wants to get out, but now they're going to have a Boomer, Smoker, Jockey, last spawn coming up is going to be a Charger. What a good attack before this. Uh, tank will come up. Usually I would say Spitter, but if they make a mistake here, they might send it off. And no, they're not. No car alarm. Charger goes in for a little bit of damage. Not going to find a target. And it looks like each Pockmock's going to walk in with 88.3% uh, percent bonus. I think, if I remember correctly, Sinalis was in a little bit of a favor as far as health-wise, but not by much. But Flames has this tank here, Gun Noodle. He's going to get the car into play. And honestly, I am surprised, in my opinion... Um, with some of the other strats from some of the other maps that we've seen, like Sacrifice uh, 1, we'll see the tank get the car on top of the building. Why don't they just put this up top and bring it over, over the, the uh, top end? I wonder that. I mean, just, just call it from a caster's perspective. I don't know, but uh, we are seeing each Poshmok take it in the exact same area Signalis did, and that's a little worrying, because like I said, it, it, it was a little bit lucky that it worked out for Signalis the way it did, and now we got to hope they have the same luck. They did sack something. I didn't see what it was. Probably a boomer. Yeah, probably. On the second pass here, so he's going to have to send it in. MK, I took the last one, so this one's all you. All right, he's trying to get it out. Again, the white car not cooperating. And they used to be two hittables here. Okay, he got it in, so he is in. He's down to 5k. He is ignoring the car for some reason. He gets a punch, though. He gets another punch. This is going to be an in-cap on to Brutus. Brutus does not pop the pills. It is now three against four. And the two-cap comes out, but the charger misses. And it looks like they're going to be able to clean up this tank. 
And let's see, it's Pac Mac. All the charger are going ham. LK, Gun Noodle, they'll get one in cap. I think Signal is a little bit more damage. Let's wait upon the pickup and do an evaluation. And they'll be at 51.6 after Pill Pop, 49.8. And right now, it's only a 24 point difference on the score. So as soon as Snipe eats those pills, it's going to be a win for Signalis. Yeah, Signalis had about a 50 something percent bonus as they made it to this wedding area. So. Right now, it's definitely looking better for them. And they still got a couple more hits to go, and they're about to send in this next one. Smoker getting nicely dodged, cleared in the back. Jockey up front, still on, getting a little bit more damage than I'm sure they wanted. There were some slow clears. They're boomer in the back, getting shut down nicely. Spitter down, too. So they will sack into the quad, MK. Yeah, I mean, you're right. They did get a pretty decent amount of damage. Unfortunately for the infected, that was a poo, too, they had there. It was only the jockey and the uh, smoker. <laughs> I think they still got a good value value from that because they did focus on the db as you can see it went down a little bit more uh, because they focused brutus and i think that would be the best thing for them to do is focus db but they probably have more plans here to land this quad gun noodle and why don't you take it when they go all right and they are they're gonna land the smoke it's gonna be clear immediately hunter in the back charger covering that so there's gonna be a lot of damage it's not gonna be the quad but they're gonna get a ton of damage smoker covering the jockey so there's gonna be a lot more damage oh wow the jockey's still not cleared mk that's taken a ton of damage there, and look at that, they're now down to 30% bonus. Wow. Beautiful they... attack. Yeah, that was gorgeously done. I believe that was three rolling double caps that went in there right in, a ro right in a row, doing all that damage. A very rare scenario, almost as rare as seeing a quad land is going double cap, double cap, double cap, with the same attack. And the Boomer goes for a quick sack, not able to get anything. I think he actually wanted to land because he knew he wasn't going to get much at the end. And now it's Pockmock just clearing out the commons. And he's just going to wait some time before they push in. And Miles is close to getting his spawn up. Pockmock needs to push this issue. And if they don't, they're going to give him a full hit. Oh my god. Okay, they're going to go in. Oh, he's, oh, here they go. Charger. They close the door. The Hunter will land. There goes the spit. Smoker's going to get the pull for sure. Oh. Good job on staying on that Balliard and not taking pretty much any spit damage. They walk in with 312. And we have about a 208 point game, Gun Noodle. Yeah, I expected a lot of good survivor play from these two, so I figured this game would be this close. Signalis heavily outplaying each Poshmuck, though, I gotta say. I, I gotta favor Signalis on that one. Yeah, for sure. Impressive to them. I'm happy to see. Uh, uh, actually, to be honest, these two teams were put together. Um, wait a second. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, What's shit. I, for I forgot to... Montex, he asked for IP address, and I missed him. I'm so sorry, Montex. Oh. <laughs> um... It's okay, he just missed a chapter, it's alright. And this is supposed to teach me about what exactly? Uh, historical I'm shit. sorry, Montex. Man, I, <laughs> I am very sorry. But I'm online. You can actually look at me and just copy my IP address. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm on <laughs> Yeah, I'm online, so. Oh well, things happen. We're waiting on one more ready up as we get ready to head into chapter two, one of the longest chapters in this whole game. My goodness, it's an endurance chapter, and Signalis holding that early lead. We're going to see a Smoker Charger Boomer Jockey for this first hit, so decent damage potential. I'm sure they'd like a spit, but, you know, this area is rough, so it could work out for them anyway. Looks like they're running a 2-2, two, two, two shotgun, two Uzi. Not often you see that setup, I feel. Smoker looking to get a pull from the alleyway up, trying to, I think he's going to lead it off. Taking their time, clearing some commons, no need to rush it, and here we go, that Smoker's up, it's going to miss though. Charger Jockey coming in from the roof, both getting shut down. Boomer got a one boom, nothing else really coming, that Smoker is left all alone, he's trying to escape. And he might get a separation pull here, look MK, we got some separation, he does, he's going to get the pull down below. Nice awareness from that, nice awareness from that Smoker to get the uh, boomed guy separated there. That was perfect. We can climb in through the window. Oh my god, these, these the players are amazing. Oh, what? <laughs> no, the, the, the players are just amazing. Okay, 
All right, muted myself there for a minute. I apologize. <laughs> That's okay. We got some jockey separation up top. Lots of spit damage coming out here. Down to 83% bonus and two hits. So each Pochmok getting two nice hits to start off this chapter. And now we've got another tank up. This one in the hands of Betts making his way through the alleyway here. Survivors making their way back into the uh, pool hall here. Getting some early chip on this tank. I'm interested to see what they decide to do here. I'm assuming they're going to sack this boomer. And Montex is here. Woo. Just activating his casting HUD real quick. Oh, look at this smoke out the window! Oh, <laughs> Gun Noodle. I think if the uh, tank actually timed that rock better, they might have got the alley oop with that rock pull into a, a rock, uh, um, a smoke pull into the rock. Mm hmm. It would have been very nice to see, but unfortunately, just a little bit off on the timing. But that's okay, that Boomer did sack, as did the Smoker, so I think he's going to get the support he wants. They're getting decent chip. I mean, they've got nearly 400 chip on them, which isn't a whole lot, but, you know, they'll take anything they want, I'm sure. I think and I think he's going to have to send this one in, yeah. I think this is what he wants. I'll take, let you take this one away. Take it, Pachmox Tank. Gun Noodle. All right, I will. He's rolling it in. Looking for a first punch, but he's actually gonna miss, so he's not in good shape. He's not landing any punches. The board's gonna have to come in. He finally gets one punch. Jockey landing, Hunter getting skeeted, Charger in the back. Tank trying to cover it. He's gonna land another rock. No, he's not! Oh my goodness. That tank did nothing. All that damage was support, really. I think he only landed one punch. My goodness, MK. He did. Look at his points. It was one punch only. What a focus down from Signalis. A team that is really putting it together the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately for their Kamika Cup pass, they fall to the loser bracket. But man, and because they had to play against Hakori, and that is not an easy team to dismantle. Right, and they value. still had a great, they still had a great showing against them. I remember that match. Hold that thought. There's a smoker getting. Oh my God! What? The guy skeeted him while he was being pulled. <laughs> oh my goodness! What a play! That was. I don't. Even, who got that shot? That was one of the boom guys, wasn't it? I, I don't even Ellis? know. Ellis? Ellis got the ski. What a shot coming out. Who is that? That is <laughs> Akala. Akala. Uh, um, Akali. I'm probably not saying that, that name wrong. He's pulled and boomed, and he skeets the hunter. I, I, <laughs> I want to say Akali, because it sounds like Akali. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't really know. But they're going to slow it down a little bit and clear out the commons before they go. Charger gets a double oh, charge! Oh, wow. It is a rolling double cap coming in. Survivors flying through the sky. One landed on top of the uh, garage door up there. I've never seen that before. Always something new to see. And big damage coming out down to 56.2. But that DB is still protected. Yep, yep. I mean, H. Pokemon has been getting some solid hits. But Signalis has just... I feel like they've just been one step above them, you know? They've been getting impressive hits, but those impressive hits have been getting cleared so quick. And now we've got a 2-2 two and two coming up with the Charger Hunter. And it looks like they're going to take it up pretty far ahead. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, just look at the score that they're holding on to. Don't get me wrong, they, they still have the most difficult two choke points to take on the map. So the boomer, this is probably just going to be a sack at this point. Snipe's going to tell everybody to wait for the drop. And I can't disagree because they have to keep the infected honest here. The survivors just can't rush. If they get a little sloppy gun noodle, that charger could be waiting and they need another double charge. But they have a spitter this time, which would be much more catastrophic. Alrighty. I mean, Signalis and no rush. I mean, I mean, they. I don't know how much they want to be taking it this slow because they do have one bleed, but they do have two sets of pills still. And now they're going to be starting to make their way downstairs, like you said, Charger Jockey Hunter Spitter for this drop. It could be. We've seen a lot of high damage hits here, but also some that get shut down pretty quickly too. So it all depends on the synergy of the infected here. How I want to put it. Taking their time, clearing out the commons. No need to rush it. Hunter is pre-spawned up down below. So. And here we go, the drop comes in. The shotgun going in, the hunter going to land. It's gonna be some decent smith damage. Charger looking to cover it, but he's not going to. Nice dodge. And uh, I didn't see what the jockey did, but he's dead, so. Yeah, I didn't even hear him spawn, to be honest with you. Me, me neither. 
I think he might have tried to come from behind, but there was just too many survivors up top. And it's good effort to go for, but they do find additional set of pills. They're back up more points, but one thing to note, the DB has been slightly cracked. It is down 1%. So he is now a, tar a target, which would be Echoi. I probably still butchered that name, but I'll get it right eventually. <laughs> and one thing to note, they did keep the spitter. Akali. Akali, that's how you pronounce it. Akali. Okay, Akali. And there's that pounce spit once again, and that was a pretty still clear on that pounce, so more damage coming out onto the DB. Thank you, History Cannon. I did get it. Eventually, usually the the chat is very kind enough to assist me with my terrible pronunciations of certain <laughs> languages. But I'll tell you what, I am doing a good language. As if it's, it's Russian, for some reason I can pronounce that very well naturally. I don't know why, but <laughs> let's speak American. America. All right, yeah. Charger, Jockey. This Boomer probably needs to sack right now, Gun Noodle. And I don't know if they have time to. I don't know. They have a spit? No, they don't even have a spitter. Oh, oh no, Boomer. There's that Boomer sack, but I. I don't know, I feel like we're gonna see Signalis rush through this because they know there is no spitter. Yeah, there should be no hesitation. If they do, it's a misplay and... Not at all, there they go. Oh, he's still got five seconds. Mm. They're trying to, oh, the Charger misses, but it's a rolling two cap coming oh. in. And the clears were kind of slow. A little bit. And then it's the last big chance for damage. Spitter can do a little bit here if they get caught up in the commons. And the spitter will retreat and be able to. No, he's not. He's gonna hold. He's gonna just spit block. And they're all just gonna put. Okay, they're gonna block him anyways. <laughs> and even with you know, they've had a couple moments where their clears have been slow. But even then, this long chapter, they're about to complete it. I think they'll have to take a couple staggered spawns. But they've still got 478 bonus. Charger getting absolutely focus fired and melted. As did that boomer. And I think we're gonna see Signalis make it in. They're. They're hesitating a little bit, but there they go. They're going to lock in. 478 bonus, bringing their two-chapter score to 2196. Solid, solid play from Signalis. Yes, it is. Look at that. Like you said, almost 2200 points. I do, if I do remember correctly, I do think Miles was part of Nakavit. If I said that name right, I don't know if Kryja will back me up if I said that name correctly, but I do the American translation because that one's a little difficult for me. But here we go live. No hesitation, Gun Noodle. Early tank coming. Tricap with Boom. See what they can do. I like the Boomer spot. But he went first, which is probably something I wouldn't have done, but... I think it was the, the thought was there. I think the survivors just hold W and have they should not respect the infected at all. And they're no. not and it's gonna work out completely. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think with that, we can say the first hit, I'm pretty sure each Pochmok took it a little bit better than the Signalis did. Oh, it's gonna be a quad try right away. Oh, okay, this could be disastrous if this lands. <laughs> and oh, we're about, I, they're losing their good spot. The Charger is not in position, and the Charger is not, and there's no way has a chance with the charger coming from that spot and they're gonna go for it and yeah just like we thought everything gets melted but they had no choice because they probably wouldn't get a try before the tank would spawn as they drop right out of these windows well it's a good thing they survived that quad because i mean with this score it definitely would have been disastrous if they got wiped right there but we're gonna see this next tank and it is akali or whatever it is you say it again because you know how to do it now yeah, Akali. Akali! Boomer is sacked. I don't think he's happy with going in with either of that, the Boomer or the Smoker, so it's just a stack. And That rock was uh, kind of close there. i seen that. He's trying to make it through the window. One survivor holds his ground. Brutus says, not today. I will focus that down. He emphasizes the R in his name, apparently. It's Brutus! For those that are um, WWE fans, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I don't know if you ever heard of that before. Gun Noodle, Brutus but, Beefcake! But all right, he is in. Look at the damage. He's already down to 3,700 oh, wow. at the window. He's going to go for Nick. He gets a first punch. The Charger helps. There is a Hunter gets skeeted. He turns on to Nick. And wow, what a shutdown from each Pockmock. 83, 83, I mean, 
Yes, 83% bonus <laughs> left at 12.79. That tank died so fast, Gun Noodle. Wow, and look at all the health, MK. We could see a turnaround right here. I mean, this is still a lot. It's still a very long map. You know, that's why they call this one the Endurance Chapter, but it's... Yeah, you know, this could be big if uh, Signalis can't get any solid hits. And now they've got a 2-2 with the Smoker Hunter in this wide open area. So it's going to be rough. They're focus firing that Hunter and there. He's going to die. The Smoker did not land either. Spit going down, trying to get something, but he didn't. Boomer also didn't get anything. So that's going to be a full no damage shutdown. And each Pochmok going to continue their way through. Yeah, they're looking very well right now. Um, are very healthy at the moment, I would say, at, at the 83%. Remember, they killed the tank, and they've taken another hit, and nothing has changed so far, and they are already halfway through the map with 1,276 points, and this will sway the lead if they can hold on to it, but that is not what Team Signalis wants to let happen, and looks like they're going to decide to hit here, and unfortunately, if they do decide to hit here, Gun Noodle, they're probably not going to have one for the bottom drop. Right, but this is some high damage potential, and I think they just like their odds in this tiny area better. And we'll see if it's a smart decision. Hunter Jockey both pre-spawned in the front. Charger looks like he's going to try and enter from the rear. Looking for a spawn. I think he's got a spawn. Now it's just waiting to see who bites first. It's a 1v1, Hunter and Nick. And Hunter's going to win that 1v1. But the Charger, I didn't see. He got melted down, and so did the Jockey. So that didn't work out. And now, like you said, I think we're going to see each Pochmok blitz this choke here. They're not going to have that hit for the drop. So it took it was a calculated risk, but boy, are they bad at math. Yeah, I mean, Ignalis just got to get some good damage here. They have a 2-2 coming up, and I don't think it's going to be the greatest. Oh, no, it's actually going to be Tricap with Boom. They need to go very quickly here and try to catch each Pochmok off the guard. And it looks like they have already taken this slow, so now it's on each Pokemon's terms. And they are controlling this game at the moment, even though they're behind. Yeah, I mean, they're not showing any signs of a hesitation here. And now we've got another 1v1 between the Hunter and Snipe. Hunter won it last time, and he's going to win it again. Snipe unable to get the Skeet. Charger going down. Going to get nothing out of that, really. Smoker cleared, too, so... They landed, but they cleared quickly enough. Still very, very healthy. Still over 1,100 in health bonus. DB still closed, and it's not looking good for Signalis on this chapter. We could see a full turnaround right now if this keeps up. Yeah, if they walk in this in with this, they're going to have the lead by close to close to a thousand, I think. They keep this, uh, or maybe a little bit less, but still, this is impressive bonus from them. Hunter, Spitter, Charger, Jockey coming out from the Special Infected. And for them, it looks like this is going to be it. This is going to be all the marbles that they can do for damage output before this map is over. And, and they've got the head for it. Yeah, I mean, they do. But everything has to land. they got to get at least... I mean, they got to do 400 damage just for the game to be even. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if we're going to see that. <laughs> Alright. Like you said, this is probably their last chance for some good damage to knock down that bonus a peg because it's not looking very good for them. Sending in that hit. Jockey Hunter going for the same person. Charger bouncing off of nothing. Decent spit damage coming out. Charger going to focus on to snipe. So lots of damage coming out. And they are going to go sub 1,000. But still, it's still 979. That's still going to be pretty solid. I think we're going to see Signalis maybe get some staggered spawns here because they're struggling with the common down there. So they're going to go sub 1,000, but still high, high bonus. Oh, the Jockey, they'll get some scratches. And Hunter gets the one damage, so they'll sneak some more in. And But each Pokemok will take a slight lead. They'll come out 2440 to 2196 for Sonalis. And we have a game. We have a match. Yes, we do. And um, I'd, I'd be all for it if we're going to see lead changes back and forth like this. Right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but all right, now while we're loading into the other chapter, we can quick discuss what I was trying to uh, point out here is we already have mm -hmm. the matches for next week for King and Furnace Cup. For the winner bracket, Team Bot plays Boys of the Favela. That is one game. Then we have Cat's Revenge playing against Team Goat. 
And then we have a rematch of the grand finals of RBT7. You win against Hakori. Oh, oh. That is going to be a big one. And then as far as the loser bracket, it'll be Winterfell against Silences, Babylonia against Penguins of Madagascar, and Wild and Shocking Asia against La Obscurite. And then it is going to be Ascendant playing the winner of this match. And, and Yakuza <laughs> will play the loser. All right. We know um, Mr. Polish Man is in here watching. He's scouting. See who he's going to end up playing. Here we go. Getting ready to start the Sacrifizzle. Boomer Hunter Smoker Spitter. So the 2-2 two -two to kick off this first chapter. And now we got each Pochmok in the lead playing Survivor first for the first time this game. And here we go, they're going to send in this first hit, Smoker landing, Hunter getting beautifully skated, Spit going to go down on the smoke target, but getting out before he can get anything, Boomer landing a one boom, and the Boomer did not die last, the Smoker did, so, not going to see a quad sack. Nope, but they'll have a good spawn rotation, that will happen. Yes, I, they I, will. If that Hunter doesn't get skated, that Smoker and Spitter combo probably well, gets about now. 20 We're more points of damage, point. instead it'll be 7, and it's Pockmock, and now has the commanding lead, Tank will be static. Spawns are coming in. Tricap with the spitter. Really good spawn rotation. Now it's all about when they want to send it. And it looks like it's Pockmock is already slowing down a little bit, staying underneath there. The jockey is trying to. No, oh, okay, they're hesitating now. I thought he was going to try to get in there. Snipe is a little separated. Yoe rejoins. The hunter fails. The charger does not fail. The slam goes out. The jockey covers. Two slams. Oh, that's big damage coming out onto each Pockmock and Gun Noodle. All of a sudden, that first two hit average is almost 10%. That Hunter missed his first pounce, but he quickly reconvened onto Snipe. And uh, the Spitter body blocked Snipe and kept him in the spit. So there was a lot of damage onto that to go along with the charge, to go along with the damage from the Charger. So yeah, lots of solid damage coming out before this tank, which we will be seeing coming up shortly. I think we're going to see the SI cover the door, as is the typical strat. Reloading. All right, now they just got to they got to play goalie and protect the tank. This is pretty standard on um, a sacrificial mm -hmm. one, like you said. We'll call it sacrificial <laughs> for today. And now it's going to be bait game. Let's see how well they protect the tank. Yoe jumped a little too far away. Okay, now he's getting the pull. There's the spit. That'll cause another delay. The hunter, if the hunter gets skeeted, then they'll be able to chip this tank a little bit. And they're not going to get it. Boomer will come in, not get the boom, but he should be able to retreat. Oh, he's opening it from the side there. And open. Interesting call. And, and he is out. out. That was a good escape. He might have to chill here for a little bit to avoid more chip, though, Gun Noodle. And the survivors are starting to back off. Yoe Definitely will be the only one getting smart. some chip. Yeah, that was definitely smart. We're going to see a rock flying in from Egypt. Skeeted, as expected. And I'm curious to see what the play will be here. It looks like they're actually going to send in a charger. It got <laughs> melted. I didn't really see. I just heard him made it, make his little noise. He just M1 from a mile away. It was clearly a set. <laughs> and the survivors wisely let the rock destroy the boat. So now there's no spawns there. And nothing that he can hit the survivors if they run away in that area. Yeah, that could be... That could come into play. All right, let's see the car. Is he going to hit it in or put it on the roof? The roof would be the wise play. Let's see if he chooses to do it. Nope, just punches it in. And now he has to play off the car. And take it away, Gun Noodle. All right, Smoker gets the pull. Oh, it's a separation. Can the hunter get it? Oh, the hunter. Oh, he can't get the cover. Oh, he gets the cover. It's a rolling tricap, and it's going to be a wipe coming out. Oh, my goodness. What have we witnessed? Signalis now has all the opportunity to take this lead back. Wow. Okay, my apologies. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know if you just seen what happened, uh, but... Sort of. Rolling tricap with the tank commit leads to a wipe. And, wow, that is a big turn from the first two chapters we've seen with both survivors making both maps with a very respectable bonus, and we've saw the first wipeout. Now, 
each Pachmok needs to return the favor. They are in big danger now here, Gun Noodle, of having the lead taken back from them that they just claimed. Absolutely. Um, if Signalis can take care of that tank handily and keep some high bonus, it's going to be a little bit more of a lead than you... It might be too much, but we'll find out. We'll see what happens. Signalis had a pretty iffy survivor round last time. They still made safe room, but, you know, there were some slow clears. We'll see if they step it up here as they get ready to send in this 2-2 for the first hit, but we're going to get a beautiful double boom, a nice arc boom, but beautiful focus skeet on that hunter. Spitter getting nothing. Smoker getting a long tongue getting cleared immediately, though. So not even 1% on the first hit, so a great take from Signalis to kick it off here. Yeah, and oddly enough, I mean, they've decided to hold on to the smoker. A little interesting. I mean, I didn't see exactly the death order of where the boomer is, so it might be smart, and we'll see definitely by the spawn rotation. And it's going to be, actually, it's going to be a quad, so it's very smart. They had to be careful here. There's a charger. Bill, okay, the charger didn't try for it, but the charger comes from the back, misses his target. Smoker and the hunter had the same idea, and now it's just going to be a couple slaps, a quick pull to end it. <laughs> And that'll be two hits in, 11%, and the average is about 5.5 so far. But Signalis moving through the map a little bit slower, Gun Noodle, than each Pockmock. Right, but in turn, Signalis is honestly favored after the first two hits because we saw how much damage each Pockmock took before the tank. And Signalis has, you know, taken the hits better, but I, we might see one more. But I don't think so because they're going to want to have the hit to puppy guard the door. So we'll see if they decide to throw something in or not. They're on the roof above them. So and actually here we go. They're going to send it in. Boomer dying. Charger in the room. Spit looking to cover. Might get a little bit of damage. He's going to. And interesting pathing there. So he took a little bit more damage than I think he really needed to. But, but Hank is left they, out. Gun yeah, they have no hit. So they're going to be able to open this door. And it's going to be a Brutus tank. And they're going to be pushing for Chip here. But they're not. They're, they're missing. And here comes the Chip now. Already down 500. Boomer tried to cover in the back. Smoker getting cleared up front. Rock curving. Not landing. Sick about 600 Chip. He's going to try and make a break for it. So he's down 1k HP already, MK. Yeah, and he's going to take the smart decommit path here to avoid the Chip and go the back way, which... I'll be honest, how long I've watched this game be played, that's the first time I've seen that path, and I liked it, Gun Noodle. Smart play by Brutus to avoid any more. Absolutely. And he's going to move that car to the roof there, so... He's got a Jockey Hunter Charger for his support. We saw a Charger Sack last time, but I don't think um, each Potchmark has the same idea. And now it's a waiting game to see when this tank commits. He's got... Oh, wait. The... Jockey Hunter pre-spawned up. Looks like they're maybe trying to hit a rock, but the rest of the SI didn't land. Charger's going to get melted down, too. And he, uh, MK, he's at 40% second pass. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. This is bad. This is very bad. I, I, don't, I don't think this was the right... This was a misplay, because now he's going to have to commit with no support. He's 10% second. If even if the survivors break sight, he's going to go AI, but I think he's going to be okay. He's fully in on this. He's going to land his first punch, but it's going to be too far away, so he's not going to get the corner. His rest oh! of the sport hunting him beautifully. Skeeted, though. And Smoker looking to land. Covering it. He's going to miss the rock, though, MK. And now he's left on his own. Some more damage, but he's dead. Wow. That is I... really unfortunate for that wow. tank. Wow. Lots of questionable plays coming out there, really. That hunter shutdown was so big for his team. That hunter dying on the commit denied the tank his corner and his end cap. I mean, it is what it is. Beautiful play by Signalis, the whoever that I think it's Akali is who is the person who is the front there, and he is just popping off this game right now. Gun Noodle, very impressive. And yeah, I don't even know who it is. Well, now you know, because it might be a staple for this team in <laughs> the future. Making a name for himself. Yeah. I think Nalus might be a, a team to reckon with in the future. They're starting to put things together very impressively over the last few weeks that we've seen them. But, Hank is dead. 61.9. Charger rockets in. Oh, the Charger does miss. The Jockey gets a target. They'll get him all in the spit. Oh! 
Okay. They got to walk through that. I mean, they it, it's all spit damage, but it still ticks down everything well, but DB. It's still, yeah. I mean, what what was it? They were at 61 before that hit. Now they're down to 48 because they had to dump pills. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a very nice hit there from each Pokemon. I mean... They could, I mean, it's looking bad, but obviously each Pachmok has that cushion from their lead, and if they can knock down the bonus a lot, then Signalis might be able to reclaim the lead, but it won't be by much. Got the Hunter Charger Smoker Spitter for this next hit, and I wonder if we're going to wait for them to send it in, if wait for uh, Signalis to make their way inside. I don't think so, considering where they're set up. But we'll find out. And here we go. Hunter sending it in. He's going to get focus fire, but he's not dead. Smoker in the back getting cleared. Hunter got skated. Charger in. Not landing anything. And the spitter is left all alone. And he's running away in a frenzy. Yes. And this, is, this is definitely going to be a lead swap. And it looks like the point delta that was in favor for each Pockmock now be in favor for Signalis. So we're going to have lead swap, lead swap, lead swap. <laughs> Every map so far, and I know Signalis don't want it to lead swap anymore after they have the lead here, but Boomer's going to go in for a one boom. Jockey's going to spawn up in the front, try to just delay the survivor's pullback. Is probably not going to work. Jockey is dead. Smoker should die off here, and he does not. And I think Signalis is not going to hesitate to hold W, and the spitter is going to have to use this bit just to stop them from getting in so the other two spawns can attack. And History Can actually brings up a good point. This DB is still closed. It's been closed this whole time. They're going to be sending a last-ditch effort hit. Hunter getting cleared immediately. There's going to be a little bit of damage coming out from that smoke spit. But nothing else, really. The Charger just still alive. We might see a Hail Mary. And, uh, oh, wait. Miles is outside, though. So one punch. I don't know if the second one landed, but there's at least one. But they're going to lock in that 456. And Signalis will take the lead back. 3152 to 2678. Another lead swap. Wow, what a game we're having right here, Gun Noodle. This is back and forth. You couldn't ask for a better match to end the weekend with because nothing else is posted at the moment. Peak playoff, peak playoff left for dead here, MK. This is what we, this is what we host tournaments for, you know. Exactly. This, I mean, this is the top tier that you can see. These are some of the best players in the world that play in these tournaments, and I mean. And also, one thing that we needed, we need to point out here, and uh, before we do start this next chapter, actually, not yet. I'll wait because I think there's ads rolling. They can't hear me talk, so I'll wait a few seconds. Realize until the the uh, timer hits 45 seconds inside the thing. Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, did Monty ever come back? I didn't even see him. <laughs> yeah, Monty is here. We got Monty in in action, but uh. It would be real great for everybody to take a second and wish a very happy birthday to Left 4 Dead 2 as it turns 15 years old today. Happy birthday, oh, Left 4 Dead. Wow. And it's still as popular as it was to begin with. That's what we like to see. Waiting on one more. Ready up. It's flames. Whoops. <laughs> GG. <laughs> 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 and here we go. I like that GG right away. <laughs> Snipe. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Four. I love Chapter it. Four. <laughs> Chapter 4 of Pacifice, Charger Jockey, Smoker, Spitter for this first hit. Signalis back in the lead. And um, it's just been a fun game. You know, many, many lead swaps, many, many momentum shifts. It's been great to see. And looks like they're going to send in the hit. Charger's trying to come in from the back, getting melted before it can do anything. Jockey going to land for a little tick of damage, but nothing else. But they're actually going to get a smoke pull through the spit. So some decent chip damage, about a 4%er on the first hit. Yeah, they get 4% of damage, but they get an additional 3 points for getting the Charger through the door successfully. So they do score some points with the Charger, making the field goal, getting outside with his dead corpse. But <laughs> that is going to be it. I don't even know if they'll have time for a second attack because this tank is very early at 28%. I mean, they'll probably get one, but it's going to be very difficult to even land here. They go quickly, Charger melted, Boomer lands, Hunter one damage pounce, Spitter successful. And they'll, they'll actually get about 2% out of that. And I think that's the best you can ask for due to the wide open area. And here is what most likely, since these are two... Um, UK teams, I believe. Probably not going to play this finale no matter how close it is, but in the hands of Snipe, we'll have the last tank for his team, I think. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! That was extremely close there. 
<laughs> Use car hits, MK. I and... know, I couldn't get my camera there fast enough. I wish I could've. <laughs> Without, I mean, this tank can either be really easy or really rough, and I think he's actually just gonna send this in. It's heavily reliant on supporting cars because of how wide open it is. Easy to kite a tank in this area. But he's got three toys to work with, a charger and a smoker and a jockey for his support. It's about as good as he's gonna want it. I think he's gonna send it in. MK, why don't you take this one? All right, there's a pull in the back, charger. Oh, he gets the car, he doesn't hit anybody. He misses the punch though. He's gonna switch over to the car and try to get a survivor. He's got him against the fence. Oh, he has survivors everywhere. I think they're gonna lose a survivor here. They gotta focus this tank down. He has two cars sitting on top of him. And and they lose their shotgun player too. They kill their lead guy. Snipe is still alive with about 1,217 health. And these survivors, I think, right now need to push inside this building to get the heck out of, out of here. And they've lost their lead guy in the go-go. He's telling them, you guys need to go. What are you waiting for? And they're just retreating. And this is gonna allow Snipe to start whacking the cars in to get more advantageous car locations. And only might be a misplay. And only one survivor is really shooting the tank right now. He has 900 HP. The boomer finds a spawn. Doesn't get anybody. That's big. Oh, the car coming up. Oh, it almost hits him. It does not. Oh, he splits the survivor. God. Boomer's getting scratches. He doesn't get anybody. Snipe, I don't think he's going to be able to make anything work here. The survivors are not rotating properly. It looks like they're lost without their front shotgun guy. I'm going to be honest with you right now. That's what I'm seeing. But it looks like they might be able to hang on. And they're just standing here. I think they should go forward. And they're starting to. Oh, and he gets the 25! Oh Car God. comes out. He misses. <laughs> and I think they'll be able to get inside now. Luckily, I think they will. I mean, he's still got 196. Maybe enough for a Hail Mary car. He's trying to back away. Those cars. I mean, Snipe might be, like, beating his desk right now. Because those cars, so many of those cars were so agonizingly close. And I think we're going to see a hit on these stairs. Oh, maybe not. The Charger's faking me out a little bit. Because, oh, well, Signal is not pushing up the stairs. Actually, probably a smart decision. This tank is about to go AI. I think he's going to let it happen. So I think we're going to see a hit with this AI tank. Well, Charger going in down below. He's going to land. Getting cleared before he gets a slam. So I can try to cover, but not going to be able to land. And the AI tank coming in. And he's going to die off. So Signalis survives, but they lose that. They lose their front shotgun player. We've been talking about how good he's been playing. And now they don't have him. So we'll see how much more distance they'll be able to accumulate. Yeah, it's all. Uh, who's their shotgun now? They're going to run. It's going to be all on Zoe. It's going to be Nadrat. It's gonna be the only one that is going to be able to do this. And that's who they believe in. The other two are going to have Uzis. Now they have a 2 2, so they're not going to get wiped here, but they could suffer massive damage. And I think it's Pockmock's going to be sure that they'll have a quad for the next hit. And then that will cause the survivors to make sure they get in the building uh, outside of this giant loading area. As they get a pounce inside there, the spit will be successful. Jockey will latch on. They'll clear it a little slow, but they eventually do. And there's the quad sack. And right now, in my opinion, Gun Noodle, they need to get over this boat, over that tanker, and inside that next building and wait it out before they decide to push forward. Yeah, I mean, this that last hit was solid damage, but, you know, Signalis at this point is probably happy just surviving. Uh, obviously, with when you're down one survivor, it, you still got three, but, you know, it's, it's a 3d4, you know? You're down, you're at the disadvantage, and it becomes very infected friendly whenever you got three survivors. So I'm sure, even though that last hit was a lot of damage, I'm sure they're happy that they're still alive, still crawling forward for distance. Because that tank might be rough for their side, so, you know, they need to get as much as possible. But here, they've got that quad sack, so it's 4v3. And this could be bad for Signalis. We'll see if they're able to take it properly. Reloading. They're going to rotate inside this building here. Well, they're kind of separated. Re recuperating. Rotating into the building. I, I think that was a smart decision. And, the and it looks like they're actually moving to the hill, yeah. Yeah, the effect that are going to yield. They, they don't want a chance... Um, to allow Signalis to shut down a quad and then take the gravel hill with their attack down. So I think what we're going to see here is they're going to trigger this event. They're going to try to walk back on top of this conveyor and stay at the top or just go back into that little hut on in behind them. Because there is a quad incoming and being out in the open isn't the best thing to be or to, to take it at. Or maybe I'm wrong. They might get a pull forward. No, the charger changes location again. 
And they're gonna let him trigger this. Okay, they had to keep him honest because I thought they might push the hill. That would have been a ballsy move, Gun Noodle, if they choose to go for it with three survivors. <laughs> and here they go, they're retreating. Oh, and the and the oh, the shotgun can't get the clear. Oh, he no. separated himself, and there's the wipe. Now it's Pockmock. All they have to do is make it with about a hundred bonus. But they do have to make it, do they? Yeah, they need 600, 600 okay. distance, and that's not enough to get the win. They need what I think just ten bonus, eight bonus, something, something yeah, eight like to that. But, but still, this is another long chapter. It's not. I don't think it's quite as long as the other one, but this is still a decently long chapter. You know, it's it's rough. And um, so Signalis, two oh nine. I don't think he's doing proper. Oh wait a minute! I, I think I'm not doing proper math. Right, they can get 600 on top of what they got with just distance. Yeah, I, I was wrong. I did bad math. Okay. All right, actually sending in this hit early here. I think the charger got melted. Everything else not really landing. They're gonna get that smoke. Jockey finally landing. A little bit of chip damage. It's nearly a six percent first hitter. So uh, if Miles is right, we're gonna go with it. They need 209 for the win. Which... 208 to tie. That is possible, really by the way. That is possible to score. And I really think it's going to come down to however this tank goes for Signalis. And it will be a Miles tank, so... Alright, here they go. Charger will land, but won't get the damage, of course. Everything gets cleaned up. The second hit pretty much doesn't ever do anything here, as we were talking about before, Gun Noodle. And both teams will go into the tank at 94%. Just the opening hit was a little bit better from Signalis, and Miles is going to have what possibly is the last tank of this game, unless we go to Chapter 5, which is not out of the question. And it's under, uh, I mean, Miles under a lot of pressure here because if, you know, they're able to kill this tank with basically nothing, each Bashmak has had pretty solid clears other than that, so if they're not able to do anything with this tank it it might be tough to say but it might be another lead swap and uh, like you said we're not sure if we're gonna see a finale but what we might see another lead swap so miles under a lot of heavy pressure here on this tank yeah, he wants the dumpsters and it looks like it's pockmock doesn't want to really allow him to get that but they're really this is really dangerous look where yoi is they're a little close to that car I think if he just committed and they pulled to it, they might have got it, but he wants extra toys. He'll only lose 300 for it, so it's not a big sacrifice. But I believe I took the last one away, Gunu. This one's yours. Okay, sending in. He's got that early pull. Looking for the corner. He's going to land the punch, but he's not going to get the corner. This could be bad. The hunter got skeeted. He's going to be left all alone here in a minute. He's got a jockey smoker to help him out. Jockey coming in, but in a crowd of three, so nothing. He's still trying to work those cars, but it bounces off the tree. He's got a pull. And they're going to clear it before he's able to get anything on it. So now he's left all alone. He's going to try to disengage, but he's only got 1.4k HP left, MK. This is bad for Signalis. And each Pockmock's just going to go inside and wait. I don't even think they keep pushing. They'll just sit in this room and kill this tank off. Yeah. And look where they're setting up. It's going to be really hard for the Infected to even get anything in here. Especially with a Charger. Oh, this is going to be very rough for Miles. He needs big support. Boomer gets nothing. And here they go. They're going to send it. And the Hunter gets shut down. And he doesn't even get a punch. Yes, he does. He got one. He got, he got one. one. And that is the all bonus. they're going to get. And they have a 1,049 gun noodle. Oh, uh, no. Very, very, very bad for Signalis. And this would be a very unfortunate way to lose. But, I mean, there's still the possibility of the finale. I mean, Signalis could whittle away the bonus, may get it closer, and there's still that possibility. You, I mean, I know there's, we might not see it, but it's always worth hope. Sending in this hit, Jockey went first, got melted, Smoker dying as well. Spitter Boomer going in, they're going for a quad sack. And it'd be a nice turnaround if they could land said quad. Yeah, it definitely is. I would have liked to see them try to go for a little bit better damage hit on the transition inside instead of just throwing the spawns out. But nonetheless, they'll have... Oh my goodness, they got to get rid of, what, 800 and... 30-something. 
something like that. They might be getting a little bit desperate. Like you said, they like they had high damage potential they might have been able to do, but I think they're getting desperate, so they immediately were just saw the rotation they had and were being like, okay, let's sack into the quad, screw the damage. And if they're panicking, that could be bad because panicked players don't win games. All right, and they're I just going to be going patient. To this hill. Yeah, definitely. They're going to save for this hill. <laughs> lion. <laughs> the lion curse. All right, they're going to get past the car alarm, and look at Signalis is going to do the th same thing that it's Pockmock did and save this quad for the gravel hill. This could be their last opportunity. I mean, I know they're going to have a couple more hits, but if this quad doesn't go the way they want, they're going to have to whittle down, like, 800 bonus in probably two more hits. And that's not very um, ideal. Uh, they're going to let them trigger it, so I think we're going to see each Pokemon make their way back. And they they really want this quad, so they're gonna wait it out as long as they can. But the hunter actually did spawn up, pouncing around a little bit. Here we go. They're sending in the quad. The smoker's gonna be pulled on. It's gonna get cleared before anything else. Hunter got cleared quickly too. This charge could be big. And... Oh! oh! He killed him. That's... Oh my oh god! He killed my him. My gosh, Gun Noodle! What did we just see? Is that enough to get the win? It's a double charge death, and Miles even can't believe it. He's like, what the f? And I, I mean, believe they still got 512 though. They've still got 512, so they've still got more bonus, way more bonus than they need. But now it's manageable. It's they're able to whittle it down, and they have a higher chance of getting all three of them. But they're not killing that boomer. The spitter dies. They're gonna run through the spit, and they're just go going right now. They're holding W. I think they know how risky it is right now. Boomer gonna jump in that water, go for a little dip, but he's gonna blow up because water is contagious. Yeah, and this is going to be the last hit. I mean, they're not even going to get full distance. This is going to be so freaking close that I think there is no way. Again, they are European teams, so they might not want to play the finale. But, man, do I hope they do play a Gun Noodle. This oh match has been goodness. absolutely entertaining to the core. And they're about to walk in. They're not slowing down. The Charger is not in position. Whoa. And they're about oh, to no. take this. And they're going to they're gonna have more points. The Charger... I don't know what the Charger was thinking. He gets a double. Gets he lands the slam, slam. But they'll take the lead. Barely. Oh, barely. Oh, uh, no. What are we going to see, MK? No, oh, no, GG well played. They're no! not going to call map five. And that will be each Pokemon getting the victory over Signalis. 36-36 to 34-86. GG.